Okay, this is way closer to the camera than I'm used to, so bear with me if I'm still a little getting used to this. But, quick drill for precision jumps and precision landings involving narrow surfaces. In my case, I found a set of picnic benches that's really ideal for this, because we're going to emphasize quiet landings. And if you can find something that's like a wood panel or something wood and off the ground, even metal will work, that you can jump onto, you're going to get more noise feedback than if you're just jumping onto ground, concrete, grass, dirt, whatever. And that'll enable you to actually uh, really hone in how quietly and how softly you're landing. So with that in mind, let's quickly look at the drill. Uh, and I will note that you don't have to do this on picnic benches. There are a lot of other options. This is just what I found and I liked it for the difficulty level I had uh, in mind for myself. But adjust accordingly. All right, let's have a look. Starting out small real quick, just to establish a baseline of noise. So those are loud, these are quiet. Cool, so that's the drill. Now, as I said before, this isn't super important that you do this with two picnic benches to make, the, to make it work. There are a lot of ways you can make this an effective drill as long as it fits as a jump within a reasonable distance for you that you feel you can make and a preferably fairly narrow target base just to get really good practice. You can do this on picnic benches like I did, which metal and wood are probably the best because they give you the most feedback in terms of noise. But you could, I can especially see this working if you have, let's say, uh, wood, a wooden deck. That's going to give you a ton of feedback, even though it's not as um, mental because you don't have a gap to jump or as narrow of a surface. But that's really the drill. Don't want to really ramble anymore. So there you have it, and try it out.